Okay, so tonight for the kids, we have mac and cheese. They can have some more of that chili if they want. They can have some of the chicken if they'd like. I'm going to have what's uh, seconds of my chili from lunch, a little portion of mac and cheese, and part of a baked potato and some pineapple. That's supper. Have a good night. So we're beginning cleaning of the kitchen and I have stuff on every surface. Wish me luck. My daughter is helping me with the heavy stuff. My son is going to do his dishes because they're <laughs> awful and I didn't get a lot of them done last week, which is my fault. And sometimes I just don't feel good. And I think a lot of that's fibro, but a lot of it is just, I don't feel like getting up. But I'm going to try my best. Have a good day. Bye. Hello, my gentle people. Sorry, it's so jittery. I'm shaking. I just got off of work and I'm, well, really sweaty. <laughs> we got slammed. Halfway through, we had already served 30, 40 households. And some of those boxes were 10 plus. So I did a lot of packing today. <laughs> I picked up a few things, but it was just what was donated um, from the grocery stores around town. So it's not, not picking up boxes. I'm not gonna do that to them, especially when they're that low in actual USDA food. It's just the junk food that throws our budget off. I'll show you when we get home, bye. All right, my gentle people, this is what I got from the food pantry today. Uh, there's three of these sausage, well, two sausage and egg and cheese and one with peppers. These are 80 calories and I think the peppers are, no, these are 90 calories. The peppers are 80 calories because they take up more space, but nutritional value. See, the plant... They're, they're really small, so I think I'll have them with some oatmeal, but the, the plant stuff is <laughs> almost more expensive than actual meat. So, yeah, I can't afford that, but I like them. I haven't had sausage in a while. This is split pea soup. Um, because I haven't eaten meat in 17 years. So... Even when I did, I couldn't handle sausage because it was too greasy. But the vegan sausage isn't isn't pure grease. And this I picked up for a friend of the family's little brother. And this is for my mom. And this is this and this. I'm going to see if my daughter wants because she loves mango and pineapple. I picked up this on the way out the door for me because nobody else likes that but me. And ditto for the almonds. It's for me and my daughter. My husband likes those. He knows those. And boiled peanuts. And I got some more tea. Because the Dollar Tree tea won't last forever. This they were just giving out. They got from the store. It's still good till 2023. Of April. But I, I looked at the ingredients. Just, just coffee and water. So I'm going to have to add some sugar and milk to it <laughs> but it sounded good and cheese 
and that's it. That's my haul. Uh, if you want to call it that. I didn't pick up, like I said, I didn't pick up any of the USDA stuff. I took some pictures of it so you can see what we were dealing with. We don't have that much right now um, as far as USDA goes. But we did get in some mashed potatoes. And we had some one-pound beans instead of the two-pound beans. So if you're one of the lucky few, first thing in the morning they got the two-pound beans, good on you. But the rest of us got one pound, which is easier to handle. You know, you can throw those in the freezer and make sure that they don't have any bugs in them before you put them in your pantry. And I always do that, even for stuff I buy from the store. Is I put it in the freezer for three days, let it thaw for two or three days, and then I can put it in the pantry either in a different container or in the bag it came from because I don't have anything sharp in there that'll poke the bag. So I think that's the best way for me to do it. We have a lot of bugs down here. We had bull weevils and some of the spaghetti we were giving out. As soon as I caught that, boy, I just double checked everything, double checked everything because while it's sitting in the box from the warehouse, it comes from the field like that. It comes from the field like that. And the, and the eggs hatch, and then we have bugs. And I can't tell you how many times I've had to clear out my pantry because I had bull weevils in my pasta and rice and flour and beans. Yeah, that's a lot of money in the trash. So watch those bugs. <laughs> Right now, let me show you. Right now, I'm taking everything that was on the floor under the shelf back there, and I'm going, I'm checking the dates. All that is 20, 2024, and most of the stuff in the cabinets there is 2023 or 22. So, stuff that has to be used right away. In, I did some of the dishes and my son did some of the dishes and it's still there. And this, like I said before, is either 21 or 2020. I don't think I have anything older than that except for maybe the dried fruit. Like the dried blueberries and dried cherries and dried raisins. That bread is going to be stuffing really, really soon. Because if I don't, it's just going to mold and I'll just have to throw it away. Let's see. Um, spices. I went through those recently. The baking soda I keep up there because I am terrified of grease fires. And <laughs> yeah, had one. Not fun. Um, what's up there? Sugar from Grandma's house. Oil. I need to get that away from the stove some extra flour. That potato thing is almost empty. There's like this much left. Maybe two servings. So everything is not as it seems because you can't see through the packages. Just trust me. Okay. <laughs> I know what's going on in my kitchen. Now let me get up. I have to use the potatoes. And some of the beans, the walnuts go in my stuffing. Let's see, the beans, they were in the freezer. I got them out yesterday because I wanted to make up some bean soup so I could make up, whoops, like make up the cheddar jalapeno cornbread. I emptied this box because it had some instant oatmeal in it and I'm sending that off to my friend who's living in a tent right now and I can't do anything about it because she doesn't live here <laughs> but I can give her what I can give her and send her a little bit of help whatever I can that's still up there my husband's working through those I don't like hot stuff so that's basically all on him 
Lemonade's half full. The oatmeal has probably two servings left in it. Ditto for the pancake mix. I'll probably get one more serving for the family out of it. And that's what's left of the instant oatmeal up here. Now, like I said, this is all the old stuff. So this is what's going to be going first. This pantry, it's on the counter. And what's in the fridge and freezer. Let me show you. I gave away four bags of grapes yesterday, half the box of sweet potatoes, but I still have one, two, three, well, two and a half bags of grapes. Yikes. <laughs> That's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to give away the, oh, there's another bag of grapes. There you go. So four bags of grapes and well, I lost count. I knew you gave away some of the eggs because we have too many and I don't have room for anything else in here and I can't see what I have. That's yellow squash, some zucchini still, eggplant. I'm going to do up the eggplant and zucchini lasagna tonight. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because my daughter doesn't like those vegetables. But I have to do it. I have to get them out of there. And like I said, half the sweet potatoes... Let's see what else we put. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at all of the stuff in here. What did we have? Oh, I forgot what year that was. 2023, I think. Almost all of these are going to be 2023. Those are 2025. So I'm, I'm keeping stuff separate. Like this is 24, this is 23. And some of it I've even marked it on there <laughs> to save me some work later. But usually you can just see it. Okay, I'll let you go. I've got a lot of work to do before my ladies meeting today. Have a good day. Bye. Good morning, my gentle people. I'm trying to get this set up so I can show you what I'm doing, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to use some of this acai powder. That was 2019. Some of these protein. That was 2022. This peanut butter powder says 22, 522. I'm going to use a little bit of the spinach, dehydrated spinach. Um, I really like this, but I opened it, so I have to use it because I wanted to try it. I opened it on 922. And this is what it looks like, and this is why I won't send it to my friend because it looks like something illegal. Um, <laughs> and some super greens. I'm gonna, this is 1222, but it's open. So I'm gonna put, it doesn't look like much. It looks kind of gross, but I'm gonna put all this and a couple of frozen bananas and smoothie for breakfast. Okay, I'll show you later. Bye. I was thinking, what else could I have for breakfast? You see the steam coming off the bowl? I love that. This is oat bran. Isn't it pretty? And I think of it as a baking ingredient, but I'm I'm gonna use it like a oatmeal this morning with I have half a jar of molasses left and this was from oh wow it's worn off. Twenty twenty. Nope, twenty nineteen. Okay. Time to use that thing up. I wanted to show you. Hold on. I wanted to show you how I fit together our new um, breakfast and beverage cart or tablet.
power. Let's see, we have the lemonade and hot cocoa. And there's Nesquik and tea. And there's where all the smoothie stuff is going to go in the pancake mix and grits and oatmeal. And then down here, there's, oh, there's some rice up here. Grains and pasta and dried fruit and more grits. And of course, sweetener. We have sugar and the Splenda, dried bananas, dried fruit, and actual sugar. <laughs> so, that looks pretty good to me. It's kind of in the way. I'm going to have to find a place for it in the kitchen because right now it's in our hallway. And the kitchen is, sorry for swinging me around, over here is where I had it, right where this shelf is right now. So I got to put this back together, put my cans back over here because right now this is the condition of our kitchen. <laughs> And we went to Burger King last night, and it didn't cost me anything because I had a gift card on my phone. So I'm not going to count that towards our total of eating out this month, except for what they had. The dresser may or may not be going away. The chest of drawers is basically empty right now because everything's out of it. So I'm going to see if I can empty it and get it out of the kitchen. Because I actually want to use it for my craft stuff in my bedroom. And here, see, I'm building another box for my friend. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So to sum up for the week, my gentle people, um, it's pretty but much been... Catch as catch can. We all eat something different from each other. And we're just getting everything out of the fridge right now. Just going through the entire thing and just seeing what needs to go, what needs to go. So that's where we are right now. Sometimes my son will be out to work he works in the evenings so he won't be having supper with us and when that happens I'm able to um, just go ahead and make meat for my daughter and my husband and of course I don't have to eat meat so I just have sides or some other kind of protein and whatever and I don't have to worry about it Okay, well, that's it for this week. Let me know if you like the longer format or if you'd like to do day-to-day day -day because day-to-day is actually easier. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.